Whichever one I was writing at the moment, that was my favorite because I was really into it. But I love them all. I have to mention, I'm probably my biggest fan. <laughs> I, I love everything I've done. When you give characters superhuman powers, superpowers, still finding a way to make them believable and empathetic, and that's the trick. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my God. And if there is a secret to how to do it, and I don't know if there is or not, but if I did know, I wouldn't tell because we don't need the competition. Just being able to see Spider-Man web swing from building to building as dramatically as he does, if they tried to film that, 25, 30 years ago, it would look a little bit corny. When we created the characters like Spider-Man and the Hulk and so forth years ago, there weren't even computers. Everything was colored by hand and inked and pencil. We never in a million years suspected that one day there would be 3D action movies based on these characters. Actually, we just hoped the books would sell and we'd keep our jobs and be able to pay the rent. That was as far ahead as we would look. I formed a company called POW. POW stands for Purveyors of Wonder. And we're doing movies and television shows and things on the internet. We, we have a new channel called Stan Lee's World of Heroes. We have something called Stan's Rants where I just talk about all the things that bother me. Like, how does Superman fly? He has no visible means of propulsion, right? Oh, we have cocktails with Stan, where I interview people whom I think are interesting, not the usual guests that they have on interview shows. And as long as we don't drink too much during the interview, it works okay. But since we're serving cocktails, we never know how any interview is going to end. And then at POW, we have a movie about a new superhero who's Chinese, and it's called The Annihilator. We even have a, a live action show, an arena show, called Yin and Yang, The Power of Tao. And that'll be presented first in Macau, in the Orient. And it's the only show where the audience becomes part of the story itself. I mean, I didn't know I was going to do an interview for Wired. I, w I wish I had time to study and think of exciting things to say. I hope this is just preparation and you'll let me do it in real life later on.